Welcome to the 2011 100 Best Communities for Young People. Presented by ING. Live from Washington, D.C. With your host, Luke Russert. Good afternoon and welcome to the announcement of the 2011 100 Best Communities for Young People presented by ING. We are coming to you live from the night studios at the Museum here in Washington, D.C. And I'm Luke Russert, proudly of NBC News. Over the next 30 minutes, we will introduce you to some amazing communities that are working together to help ensure that all young people have the opportunity to live, learn, and thrive. But before we officially announce this year's winners, let's welcome the Chair of America's Promise Alliance, Ms. Alma Powell. Thank you, Luke. And thank you all for joining us today as we unveil this year's 100 Best Communities for Young People. To our partners, and especially to the representatives of our winning communities here today and watching at home, thank you for being with us. And most of all, I'd like to thank ING, our partner, and the presenting sponsor of the 100 Best Competition. Thank you, ING, for making this day possible. We're here today to recognize the work of 100 different communities that reflect the amazing diversity of America. Spread out across 39 states, these are our largest cities and some of our smallest towns. From the mountains of the west to the Atlantic beaches, 29 of them are honoring this, are earning this honor for the very first time. And we give special congratulations to the 22 winners celebrating with us for the fifth time, a truly remarkable achievement. These communities are as unique as the people who reside in them. No two have taken the same path to improve graduation rates and the well-being of their youth, but they all have one thing in common. They invested their time, their energy, and their resources to build a stronger future for their young people. In doing so, they modeled for all of us one of our most endearing and enduring American ideals, the ideal of community, of neighbors coming together for the common good. Theirs is a spirit that we must reinvigorate in all American communities if we are to become a grad nation and ensure our future as a great nation. Now that's why what these 100 communities have done is so very important. And as we congratulate them, we must also give thanks to them and for their shining example. These communities truly represent what is best about America. They are the 100 best communities for young people. Congratulations. Thank you, Mrs. Powell. And now please welcome, welcome Rhonda Mims, president of the ING Foundation. Rhonda. Thanks, Luke. First of all, congratulations to all the cities, towns, counties, and school districts that are about to be announced as the 100 best communities for young people presented by ING. I am proud to be here on behalf of our CEO, Rod Martin, and my nearly 10,000 colleagues across the U.S. ING is all about helping working Americans plan and prepare for their retirement. That means helping our clients to see a better future for themselves. And at ING, we know that when you can show someone a better future, you empower them to achieve it. The communities we celebrate today are also creating a better future for their young people and for our country. Imagine what the future could look like if we can instill in every child that same sense of empowerment. Imagine what the future could look like if we could inspire every community to pull together, get businesses, organizations, government, schools, parents, and citizens to work together and create a positive environment for kids. Imagine what the future could look like if, we, if more American kids graduated from high school and go on to college or the workforce ready to make a contribution to the world. That's the future these 100 communities are thriving to create. As a business, ING has an interest in fostering a competent and competitive workforce, and we support education and youth programs in part to help achieve that goal. But when it comes down to it, ING supports the 100 Best Communities program and the work of all of our winners because our jobs are really not all that different. When we show our kids a brighter future, we give them the power to achieve it. And when our kids are stronger, our nation is stronger. Thank you. 
Now let's get right to it. Let's meet this year's 100 best communities for young people. We start with the winners from the West. From the West, in Alaska, Anchorage, in Hawaii, Honolulu, in Washington, Bellevue, Greater Spokane, Lakewood, Prosser, Redmond, in Oregon, Portland and Multnomah County, in California, Alameda, Chino, Chino Hills, Corona, Indio, Marina, Solano County, in Idaho, Meridian, Caldwell, in Arizona, Chandler, Flagstaff, Scottsdale, in Montana, Big Fork, Missoula County, in Colorado, Aurora, Brighton, Montrose County, And you're looking live at the Skype watch party in Big Fork, Montana. A first-time winner. Congratulations to you guys over there in Montana. Yeah, give them a round of applause, huh? <laughs> Let's talk now with Matt Porovecchio, representing Big Fork. Big Fork. First of all, congratulations, Matt. I hope I didn't butcher your name there. You got it? What does it mean to your community to be selected as a winner for the first time? Oh, Hello? are we still? Hello? Hey, Matt, are you there? We see a lot of cheering, so obviously they're very excited, as they should be for this wonderful <laughs> honor. But oftentimes in athletic events, the crowd is loud. Drones out the question. Matt, can you hear me, buddy? Is camera? Come on, Matt. Hey, Matt, are you there? Yeah, I can. I can hear you. Hey, Matt, there you are. I can hear you. I'm there. Great, great to hear you. What does it mean for your community to be selected as a winner for the first time? It's huge. We have a lot of people that are involved and in, uh, that believe in our youth, and it's just great to have the recognition. How do you plan to use this title and this recognition you've just derived over the next year? How do you plan to use this title and this recognition you've just derived over the next year? To continue the work that we're already doing, making sure that our kids uh, have the best opportunity possible when they leave our when they leave our school, our community. Well, Matt, congratulations and thanks so much for taking the time to talk with us. Now let's look at the winners from the Midwest. From the Midwest, in North Dakota, Grand Forks. In South Dakota, Aberdeen. In Nebraska, Boys Town. In Minnesota, Edina. Landfall. Northfield. St. Louis Park. In Iowa, Dubuque. Lamoni in Missouri, Columbia in Wisconsin, Waukesha in Illinois, Bloomington Normal in Michigan, Greater Midland, Kalamazoo in Indiana, Floyd County in Ohio, Cincinnati Hudson, Norwood, in Kentucky, Barron County, Clark County, Lexington, Louisville, Paducah,
And congratulations to the Midwest winners. This year, we will also recognize two special award winners who represent the spirit of the 100 best. Each is receiving a $2,500 award. Our first winner, the Success Academy in Barron County, Kentucky, aims to help more local gr youth graduate from high school. What we do start off with on, on a resume, Success Academy is a high school uh, that was established in 2008. It's a school designated to work with students who have dropped out of high school or seriously considering dropping out of high school. We target students who are ages 16 to 20 years old that lack just three or four or five credits. So that's our goal is to get those students to graduate from high school. We go out and help place them and get them jobs. Uh, if they come to school on a regular basis, that shows me they want to work. So we go out and get those students a job. But once a student is deserving of a job, we try to put their foot in the door where they normally can't get their foot in the door. My name is Kevin Bully. I'm 19. I go to Success Academy here in Glasgow, Kentucky. They help you find a job that you like and what career you want to be in. And you work part-time, go to school part-time, and it just gives you more chances to learn how to do it. Uh, I've always liked to do hands-on stuff, working on cars and stuff like that. Success Academy helped me get on at a GMC dealership. The community is very receptive to our program. They want to help kids that are in need also. They've been very, very good in helping our students out and placing them in jobs. And since 2008, we've graduated uh, almost 50 students and that would normally not have graduated from high school. And I'm here now with Bob Reese, who represents the Success Academies, and congratulations, Bob, on this wonderful honor Thank for you. you. Luke. It's a great honor for us. How did you get this program off the ground? We had some input from local businessmen who were interested in uh, impacting the dropout prevention, the dropout problem in, in our community, and um, they helped us get started. And we put it together and uh, started recruiting students who had dropped out of school, and got them back in school, helped them get a high school diploma on the road to college and uh, work. What do you see as the biggest problem that your program has been able to try and help eradicate? Well, of course, dropping out of school is a multifaceted problem. Students do that for many different reasons. So what we've been working on is try to get to the root of that problem with each student, address it individually, get them back on the right track, and get their self-esteem built. That's good, a sense of individual support right. there. Wonderful. Right. Well, thank you right. so much for joining right. us today. Thank you. Now let's learn about our second winner, a very special young person whose life was changed by local youth programs. My name is Janine Gray and I'm from Cincinnati, Ohio. I've been given many opportunities and program options to better myself. You're going to need to put the date, your first name. Jobs with Cincinnati Graduates, or JCG, has taught me employability skills provided leadership and community service opportunities that help me connect to other organizations that inspire me to live and believe in my dreams. Hi there. How are you? Good. Do you want to go ahead and sign in for me? I'm Kelly. One of the organizations that JCG connected me with was Dress for Success. During my appointment at Dress for Success, I was fitted with the proper attire to go on a job interview and will receive clothing for my first week of work once I secure my job. Dress for Success made me feel comfortable and confident. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Try that one. Yeah. Okay. While in high school, during a time that I was homeless and had nowhere to go, I was connected with the Bethany House Shelter through Project Connect. They helped me find a safe and comfortable environment to live in. My plans for the future would be to start Cincinnati State to study to become a registered nurse. If I had never been connected to programs like Jobs for Cincinnati Graduates, I probably wouldn't be here today. And Janine is here with us today looking very sharp. Thank you. Looking good. Janine, what did this program help do for you? This program helped, what, Dress for Success? Mm -hmm. This program helped me find comfortable and confident clothes to wear to go on a job interview that I got connected with through JCG, Jobs for Cincinnati graduates. That's wonderful. How is the job search going now? It's doing good. Jobs for Cincinnati graduates also helped me get land a job at Children's Hospital. I took a STNA test and passed. Well, congratulations on passing that test, Janine. That's wonderful. Thank you. 
That's wonderful. Well, good luck to you. Thank you so much for joining us. Let's keep moving uh, here right along with the winners from the South. From the South, in Oklahoma, Oklahoma City, in Texas, Longview, Lubbock, St. John Community School Alliance, in Tennessee, Nashville, in Mississippi, Jackson, Pascagoula School District, in Alabama, Birmingham, Silicaga, Tuscaloosa County, in Florida, Alachua County, Bradenton and Manatee County, Green Acres, North Lauderdale, Plantation, St. Petersburg, Tampa and Hillsborough County, in Georgia, Houston County, Troop County, in South Carolina, Beaufort County, Charleston, Rock Hill, in North Carolina, Durham, Pitt County. And you're looking live via Skype at the celebration in Buford County, South Carolina. Dr. Valerie Truesdale is the superintendent of the Buford County Public School District, and she joins us now. Dr. Valerie, congratulations. Thank you so much. We're so excited. What does this uh, winning mean for you and your community the first time? And congratulations on that big win. What does it mean for your community? What it means is that our community has come together to ensure that the services are synchronated for our students. We have over 100 agencies and nonprofits that serve over 20,000 children, and they came together to make sure our students are all safe and prospering. This is a big, this is a big national program. What, did, what inspired you to apply for the 100 Best Competition? We wanted to chart where we are and map to see how we could continue to be better at serving our students. It wasn't so much about what we've already done, but how we can continue to grow and even get better as we move forward. That's a wonderful positive message. Thank you so much for uh, joining us, Valerie. We really appreciate it. And now on to our final group of winners from the Northeast. From the Northeast, in Virginia, Alexandria, Chesterfield County, Hanover County, Prince William County, Surrey County, in West Virginia, Randolph County, in Maryland, Calvert County, Salisbury and Wicomico County, in Pennsylvania, Abington School District, Carlisle, Coatesville, Lower Marion School District, in New Jersey, Roxbury, in New York, Amherst, Glen Cove, New York City, Orange County, White Plains, in Connecticut, Hamden, New Haven, Norwalk, Waterbury, in Massachusetts, Bedford, Brockton, Cambridge, Fall River, Somerville, in New Hampshire, Dover, And the celebration is underway in Abdington School District, Pennsylvania. Congratulations, Abdington!
Dr. Amy Sickle is the superintendent of the Abingdon School District. Amy, now as winning this award five times in a row, you, you're a big time winner, five time winner. You have a ring for the thumb now. How does that help your community? Good afternoon. We are delighted to be here. I'm Amy Sickle. I'm the superintendent of Abington School District, and we are so proud and honored to be named a five-time winner of America's Promise 100 Best Communities. As you can see behind me, we have our dedicated community leaders, our school district teachers and staff, our township leaders and officials, our students, our community and business partners, our legislators, and everybody involved is helpful in making Abington committed to family and youth. Not only have we increased our high school graduation rate, we have made sure that every Abington School District student has a rigorous college preparatory or honors and advanced placement program. We hope our honor is an example that will inspire all communities across the United States to put children first. As a, so, fi as a five time award winner, you obviously are very well versed in this. What can other communities do across the country to help end the dropout crisis? Well, what they need to do is to make sure every child gets a rigorous college preparatory program. As far as we're concerned, the days of tracking are over. Everyone deserves to be in high level classes that prepare you for the world of work or for college. And with us, it's making a difference because our graduation rate has increased, but our rate to college over the last five years through the America's Promise Alliance has gone from 80 to 90 percent, which is just unbelievable. That is a real honor, and congratulations to you, Dr. Amy Sickle, and thanks so much for being with us. And for the fifth time, go celebrate. You earned it. We are now nearing the end of the program, but before we wrap uh, things up, a very special message from none other than Vice President Joe Biden. Let me begin by saying I wish I were there personally to congratulate all of you, all the 100 best communities for young people, all of you assembled from Anchorage, Alaska to Green Acres, Florida, and everywhere in between. You honorees are an extraordinary group who represent the very best this country has to offer. And it's fitting, considering that the leaders of America's promise are also the very best this country has to offer. Colin and Alma Powell. Colin Powell has been serving this country the distinction for decades in the United States Army, the Secretary of, uh, as well as the Secretary of State. Uh, and Alma, you've always been there. You've always been there helping along the way and now leading this effort for America's youth. You know, I can still call up uh, General Powell, Secretary Powell, for advice, and, uh, and we're also, uh, I think the person I should be calling these days is uh, Alma for advice. Uh, she's the chair of the alliance. Her passion and integrity funnel into the realm of education only means good things for our future. You know, one of the things I think Alma and Colin and the President, Michelle and Jill and I all have in common is that we know we would have ever accomplished anything we have accomplished thus far were it not for the help we got having access to a good education. As a matter of fact, my wife Jill, the second lady, understands that so well. She still teaches full-time, 15 credits a semester, at Northern Virginia Community College while performing her duties as a second lady. My wife Jill has an expression. She says, any nation that out-educates us will out-compete us. Well, the president and I, we, we believe that, too. And we refuse to let that happen. That's why we're focusing so much energy on education, investing so heavily in our children. And that's why we're so impressed by the work of America's Promise. And so impressed by the stories I've seen from the 100 Best Community Projects, like Aberdeen, South Dakota, and I've been in Aberdeen, where they uh, started a dental van that visits children and gives free exams and education to kids who don't have a chance to see a dentist. Lexington, Kentucky, another great city, where there's a program that helps high school students who are the first people in their families to go to college, like most of us, I might add, to take some classes at a local community college to acculturate them to what, what the possibilities are. Around the country, you're telling a story, a story of businesses and nonprofits and schools and governments all coming together to rebuild this country and to make it better. We all are, we're all investing in our youth. And it's not just money. We're investing energy, attention, and love in the next generation. And with the 100 best communities 
that investment is already paying off. My favorite poet, William Butler Yeats, once said, quote, education is not the filling of a bucket, it's the lighting of a fire. So Alma and Colin, America's promise and all the communities being honored, we owe you for keeping that fire burning for Americans everywhere, for the young people everywhere. Thank you all, and uh, may God bless you, and most of all, may God protect our troops. Thank you, Vice President Biden. Let's hear it one more time for our winners, and how about a big cheer from the winners here in the studio today? Stand up! Get up, winners! <laughs> very, very well deserved. There you have it, this year's 100 Best Communities for Young People. You can read more about this year's winners at americaspromise.org slash 100best. I'm Luke Russert. Thank you for watching and enjoy your afternoon.